Hello, I'm Fatih. Today I want to talk about a prototype of a digital 3D camera that I have been developing recently. The idea to build such a camera came from the 3D film cameras. I was introduced to one of them six years ago by my cousin and had lots of fun with it. I hope you will find this video interesting. If you are asking what a 3D film camera is or what is even a film camera, don't worry. I'll be explaining them shortly so you can have some ideas how it is related to my prototype. Also, I'll be sharing some short videos in the description so you can know more about film cameras and 3D film cameras. What is film photography? Film photography is the process of taking pictures on a light sensitive plastic strip. This plastic strip is called film. A film always has the options like color or black and white. It also has different formats and 35mm is a widely used one. After taking film pictures, the film must be developed with special kits and chemicals so that you can get the negatives. Also, a scanner is necessary to digitalize those analog images. Then, you can share the digital copy of the photographs on Instagram, Facebook or whatever the platform you would like to upload your film pictures. To get better information about cameras and film types, you can check the short video of William. What is a 3D film camera? A 3D film camera has the same processes as any film camera, but the difference is it has three or four lenses. The trick of this type of camera is to create 3D animated GIFs. For more details and art results from this type of camera, I leave you this short video from Linus. Now let me talk about the 3D camera that I made. The process of making wiggling animations from any of these film cameras is a bit struggle. While a film has limited space and the camera has multiple lenses, you can only have a limited number of frames on the film. After you finish taking picture, you have to go for the proper chemical process to end up with the film strip as negatives on it. When the chemical process is completed, you are ready to scan them. You need to scan negatives with a scanner or a camera to make a digital copy of them. Then a photo editing software that has the functionality to generate GIFs or video is necessary to edit pictures and produce wiggling animations from them. I aim to avoid development and scanning processes by making such a camera. It means I can save money from chemical kits, take as many pictures as I can and I will have the results in minutes. After a short research, I ended up with some cheap components to make my camera. I have three identical camera modules and the main board with an SD card and Wi-Fi module on the current version of the camera. The process of taking picture with this camera is very simple. I take pictures from the cameras, then store them on an SD card. After sending images to the computer or smartphone, I import them to Photoshop or Reto mobile application to have generated wiggle GIFs or videos. This sounds better and working right, but still, there are some issues that I faced during the development of this digital camera. Those issues must be handled to call it a 3D digital photo camera. Let me tell you about the issues briefly. First of all, the device is unable to take pictures simultaneously from all cameras. Thus, it cannot capture sharp images of moving objects. But I cannot say the same for steady objects. If the object is not moving, then the results are excellent. Lenses are fixed. What does it mean? It means the objects must be shot at the correct distance. Currently, I have a minimum of 1.5 meter focus distance to get sharp pictures of a particular object. 
I have some ideas how to solve it, but it has not a high priority to focus on it right now. Another thing is related to energy consumption. Since every camera module has its chip on them, the whole device requires more battery power and capacity to operate as expected. I think this is not an issue that is impossible to solve in the future. It seems like most of the issues I mentioned are related to hardware design. I feel like they can be solved and accomplished with a complete revision and better architecture. But still, my main goal is to keep it cheap as much as possible and get good results. For now, I have several plans to improve current version, such as taking pictures with night and sunny modes and adding a built-in flash. Also, I need a mobile application to transfer image over Wi-Fi. The application must include some basic photo editing features and able to export edited image as animated GIF or video format to the social media platforms. If you have any recommendations or reviews about the prototype, just leave them below the video. Before I finish this video, I would like to announce that the upcoming video will be about a project of motorizing the mechanics of another analog camera. This film camera designed by Lomography. It allows you to create short analog movies on a 35mm film. You wind the reel to shut up to 144 frames on any standard 35mm film. It has some difficulties and one is such as shaking while taking pictures. Thank you for your time and stay safe.